Hello, this is Jeremy Schubeck, and welcome to the PS Pod, episode 18. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this uh, these wires from in front of these cows uh, using both the, uh, the Content Aware Healing Brush, as well as the Stamp Tool, as well as anything else I'm able to throw at it. All right, so I have the... Um, I have the Spot Healing Brush uh, tool selected right here, uh, just on the left, just, uh, you could hit J, but Spot Healing Brush tool. And then I also have it selected in Content Aware in the Options bar. So this is going to allow me to uh, just kind of drag it across and hope for the best. Um, one thing you'll notice that I'm not doing is I'm not in one long swoop selecting the whole thing. Uh, because the longer the area, the bigger the area, the more chance of failure. I mean, you can see that there's lots of mistakes all over right there. Um, but if I were to just do a little segment like this, oh, yeah, there we go. You can see that it does fix that little area. Or a little segment like this. I'm not sure it'll fix this area. Uh, it did all right, although it did add a little bit right there. Uh, so I'm going to actually undo that. I'm going to go as far as I'm able with the uh, Content Aware. Where the Content Aware really shines is for areas like this where it's just a, a very textured background, but a consistently textured background. You'd never know there was a problem right there. Here I'm not so sure because there's that chain link fence in the background. And you can see that it didn't quite grab the pattern of the chain link fence. If that matters to you, then we're just going to undo that. Because you know what? It matters to me. And to be honest, I haven't really used the, uh, the Content Aware brush much before, but it works like any of Photoshop's automated tools, where it sometimes works, and sometimes it's just a matter of why am I leaving all this to the computer. One thing that I have been doing that was a mistake is I had it at a, a hard edge and just as any brush I fix that by hitting shift and square bracket. So now when I swipe across it's hard to see where it starts and the image begins. Alright so I'm gonna try and use it over here. Um, it looks like for areas like that it's not gonna give me much of a solution. Let's try it up here. And this is kind of similar to when we were doing selection, starting with the most automatic tools for that. All right, so it looks like this isn't quite giving me what I want here. Like, it kind of is, but it's not great. All right, so we're reaching the limit of what Content Aware, what the Content Aware brush can do. It looks like it can do a decent job. It can fool the average eye, but it's not really doing a perfect job. And what I would like is I would like to get this perfectly removed. So let's say you have an area like this, and you really want to get rid of it from here. If you use the Content Aware brush, you will get this. Or, you know, maybe even this, which, while close, isn't really going to do it for anyone. So we're going to use to this, you're going to move to the Stamp tool, and just kind of the most important thing here is to make sure that you maintain a consistent edge at all points. Uh, because if you do something like this, it becomes pretty obvious. But as long as the edges, and you'll notice that I'm constantly hitting Alt and constantly hitting um, you know, Shift, as long as the edges remain smooth, what happens on the inside is less important. Uh, people will forgive a lot of things on the inside if you have nice edges. So I'm just going to make sure that it's black together and make sure that it goes right to that edge. And just kind of fix that there. Or we're going to fix this here. Uh, just as with any brush, I could set this to 50%. And then instead of completely changing the color, it would only change the color by 50%. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to move the opacity down to 50%. There we go. And, and just kind of keep, uh, keep stroking it until it works. So this sort of thing does take a little bit of practice, um, and it's really good to have it on a layer above, just in case you make a mistake. You can always go back on a race. If it was on the same layer, uh, then you'd be stuck with it, and you'd be in a pretty bad situation. Well, you know, relatively bad situation. I mean, a mistake happened with the image. It's not, not terrible. Um, and here, uh, what I want you to take note of, though, is that I am constantly pressing Alt, and copying from different places. All right, so what we have now is we have a fairly clean nose. I'm going to move out and just uh, turn this layer on and off. And the average viewer would not have ever known that there was something going through that. It still looks a little obvious. I'm seeing some, some hints. I'm seeing this right here. So I'm just going to keep doing it, make it so it's a slightly smaller brush right here. And 
and I'm just going to move this around. If I really wanted to play with this, I could just paint over it with uh, straight up brushes rather than using the stamp tool. Uh, but what I like about using the stamp tool is for one thing it gains the uh, texture and for another thing it gives me the exact colors. So when I want to keep it photo real, um, I just feel it's good to just, and it's a little area at that, I feel it's good just to use the stamp tool. I'm also noticing that the line that the Content Aware Phil did um, still, still stays as a line. So I'm going to see what happens when I go over it another time. Um, looks like it's still going to read as a line, so I'm going to go over it this way. That didn't work. I'm going to try it again. Mm. Alright, I'm going to use the stamp tool. As for the stamp tool, increase the brush size and just kind of do this. And I see that it's at 50%, so I'm going to bring it back up to 100%. And there we go. Alright, so we have that cow's head in there. Let's do uh, one more area, and then let's call it quits on this tutorial. I could be showing you uh, a bunch of other tools, like they have a lot of tools for this sort of thing, uh, the, the patch, the content to wear fill, although I did talk about that pretty extensively earlier. Um, but I'd, I'd rather not. Hold up. Do I want to keep this fence in? Um, nah, I'll show you how to get rid of that as well. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it to the stamp tool and this one spot healing brush, uh, and even the advanced spot healing brush in CS5. They all accomplish the same thing. And the reason I'm doing that is just to keep it as simple as possible. As far as I'm concerned, try to accomplish uh, the best things possible with as few tools as possible because adding tools into the mix just kind of confuses things. And, you know, the stamp tool can get the job done a lot of the time. So let's go back to uh, the other brush. It's pretty good. And you know what? Pretty good is, in many cases, perfectly acceptable. In uh, some cases it's not, so I showed you how you can use the stamp tool to really get that final edge of detail in there. Um, but I'm just going to keep using this. This, of course, isn't acceptable, so I'm going to use the stamp tool. Ah. Um, so you can see what happens. There's problems whenever you try to use an automated tool. It doesn't know where the cow ends and the uh, field begins. That's to be expected. But still, it's always worth a try. I'm guessing it's going to trip up in this area. Yeah, you can see that it made a little mistake there, and it's kind of weird how it's looking over there. But again, good enough. Good enough. So I can use the stamp tool. I'm kind of I'm gonna undo this and then just use the stamp tool for this area because I'm not really all that happy with how that happened. You'll notice that I'm making I'm creating some mistakes as I cause this. Uh, not great but I can always go over it and just fix it with the stamp tool. So just look where I'm copying from. I'm copying from places that have a similar tone to where I'm copying to and just getting rid of them. And I could keep doing that for the entire image. It would take a while, but it would get done eventually. And if you really want to get those wires out of the cow, it would be done probably in about 20 minutes time. So we're not going to spend the time doing all of that. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to note is that I put a color adjustment layer. Notice that I'm doing the brush strokes underneath the color adjustment layer, and that's so we're fixing the image with the same color strokes as the image itself. If we were here, let me create a layer above this color adjustment layer. Let's say, let's say that we did some like very drastic color adjustments, uh, just so this is obvious what's wrong with this. Um, for whatever reason, we want this image to be red. And then we used this empty layer to create the strokes on. All right, there we go. Just fix that area right there. Because this layer here is above the color adjustment layer, if we then move it to something more sane like this, this stroke remains red because it's looking at everything below it and just treating it as a single image. And that's why you don't want to use uh, that's why you don't want to put the layer above the color adjustment layer. You always want to do it underneath the color adjustment layer uh, just to make sure that uh, you, you can do changes later on and it won't mess up all of the brush strokes that you just did. Um, all right, so we're going to complete that lesson uh, there. And in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to kind of reconstruct a face. All right, until next time. This has been the PS Pod with Jeremy Schuback.